couch Dogs need adolescents Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another short question and answer session right here on Lickin' Riff. And this time I'm gonna try to answer the question, what is the natural scale of the guitar? And the simple answer as usual is that it's relative. And the complex answer is that if we're taking the standard tuning, um, the natural scale is D. And some people will raise an eyebrow and say D, the natural scale is E minor or G major. Some people even think that the natural scale of the guitar is F. And F, I don't know why some people think that, but E minor and G, you can immediately see why, because E minor has all those open strings and G is the relative scale of E minor. G major and E minor are the same. Um, but if we're already looking at that, then it's better to say that A is a more natural scale because A has D and E in it, and all those chords, A, D, and E, have interesting um, inversions around the guitar neck, and we have the open sixth, fifth, and fourth strings, which are E, A, and D. So that's as natural as you can get. But the true answer is that the natural scale of the standard tuning is D. And that answer is a bit of a cheat because everything becomes apparent when you tune the guitar to drop D. And when you tune the guitar to drop D, the whole guitar neck opens up for you. If you want the best proof that D or B minor, um, relative scales again, um, are the natural scale of the guitar, just check out classical music. Almost every Bach arrangement for guitar is in drop D. Almost every um, blues piece for the guitar, traditional blues that isn't in an open tuning, is in drop D. Um, a lot of complex arrangements are in drop D. Drop D makes everything incredibly easier because D is the natural scale of the guitar. You wouldn't be able to play half of classical music on guitar without the drop D tuning. And most of it is in drop D. And when it's not in drop D, then it's a simplified version or it's in an alternate tuning. But if we're looking at the standard tuning, then the answer is D. And even if you're not in drop D, still the options for uh, composing and improvising on B minor and G and D and F sharp, all in the key of B minor or D major, um, far surpass the options for any other uh, scale because all the other scales are reliant on chord shapes while in B minor and D you have all of the open strings inside the, the scale and you can utilize the open strings in various ways and create a plethora of inversions and chord sounds and soloing sounds and soloing options that you just can't do in any different scale. And that's the answer, D. Um, if you think I'm wrong, then I'd love to know why, but I think I gave you enough proof. And you always go back to classical music if you want proof about playing anything on any instrument, because in classical music they did everything. And the majority of classical music for guitar is on drop D. So that's the answer, D. Um, I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.